Redevelopment of River Chase Apartments has been in the works for months after those who lived there were forced to move. Well, now the developer waits to see if a Metro Council will allow rezoning for them to put in some affordable homes, some being the key word there. WSMV's Tosin Fikile is at River Chase right now with what it looks like and a new move by the developer. A demolition already on the way here at River Chase. Several units already been torn down. The developer that brought the property is expected to put in just over 200 affordable homes here. That's if Metro Council approves rezoning. Well, a couple days ago, they submitted an alternate plan, and that plan doesn't involve affordable homes. The developer's plan for that site is just over 1,100 units and they say at least 225 will be affordable homes. What we wanted was a strong, legally binding commitment to make sure that some affordable units return to that site. But those who live close by say they aren't convinced. But before the developer can make a move, Metro Council has to approve rezoning. CREA, the developer, came up with another plan. In a statement, they said, quote, we submitted to Metro Planning a revised provisional preliminary planned unit development for the property that includes between 212 and 245 market rate townhomes. As somebody who lives right next door to where the site's going to be, uh, you know, I wouldn't mind having two stories next to me as opposed to seven or ten stories. Um, you know, obviously, if they're developing fewer units, that eliminates the possibility of any affordable housing. The developer also said, quote, given the lack of certainty about the city's support, it has become necessary that we consider an alternate development plan that is available with the underlying zoning. As for how council should vote on Tuesday night, David says a line needs to be drawn. I think the council needs to show that a developer that doesn't make strong commitments uh, shouldn't be given a license to print money uh, on the backs of our community. And this is the night to say no to one developer that is going to do that. And the next developer that comes along will, will understand that that's the, the, the expectation as they come into our, our city. CREA says the alternate plan they submitted is strictly a, quote, provisional plan and will go ahead with it if they can't get public hearing or approval for current specific plan zoning request. That vote on the rezoning by Metro Council is expected tonight. David Rutledge says he and some others plan to be at that meeting. I'm Tosin Fikile for WSMV4.